Hey everyone, welcome back to the Living in Maryland channel where we discuss all things living here in the great state of Maryland. And today we are back doing a video tour of an end unit townhome located in the community of Piney Orchard, which is located within Odenton, Maryland. So if you are looking in central Maryland, if you're maybe working at Fort Meade um, or somewhere in that part of Maryland, uh, this is an awesome community that maybe you wanna check out. It's a great area for families um, and just an awesome community that has a ton of amenities and a ton of things to do. So they've got a number of different pools, They've got a fitness center, a nature preserve, walking trails all throughout the communities. Um, and they've got a ton of different uh, housing options. So they've got some 55 plus options and then they've got a lot of just various detached townhomes and traditional condo um, options as far as housing. But today we are taking a video tour of an end unit townhome um, in this Piney Orchard community um, with just some awesome, you know, surrounded by woods and just kind of a lot going on for it. So um, it's currently listed at 500,000, although I'm told a price uh, reduction may be coming, although I have not seen that yet as of the time of this filming. So if I do, I will certainly update that in the in the description so you can keep an eye out for that. Um, it's got three bedrooms on the upper level. Um, it's got two full baths as well on the upper level and then a half bath um, on the main living level and the lower level and it's also got a, a nice size garage. So we're gonna hop into this video tour here in just a second. If you ever have any real estate questions, if you are thinking about buying or selling a home here in the great state of Maryland, we absolutely love helping out in any way we can and having conversations about that. So feel free to reach out however you feel most comfortable and let's jump into the video tour. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in one of my favorite areas in Odenton, which is Piney Orchard, uh, just an awesome, Awesome development, awesome area out here. Um, so close to Fort Meade. Um, and we are here at a three level uh, townhome with a one car garage. And we're gonna get you inside here in just a second. Um, one really cool thing about this home is that's at the very end of this townhome community. Um, you've got a circle back here. Um, and it just almost feels like an extension of the property uh, where you got a kind of a nice, nice yard, side yard here kind of cool area for the kids to ride bikes, play. Uh, you got woods back here where you can just kind of, just kind of have a lot of fun. So lots of, lots of privacy back here. And I'll show you the even more woods. So this home is pretty much surrounded by a whole bunch of woods. Um, it's probably hard to see here in the video, uh, but there is a, a trail down there uh, where you can just kind of hike, walk, bike, do all sorts of things. Um, so just so much going on uh, here in this Piney Orchard area and uh, this particular townhome. So, and then even more woods back here and we'll take a peek at the yard as well. So, um, so let's get you on in here. So now we're gonna head inside. Now there's no below grade, uh, there's no below grade basement space in this home. However, this does feel um, like a basement when you come in here. So you're gonna walk in, uh, you've got some updated uh, wood flooring here, um, the stairs going up to the left. Um, so this feels like a basement, but it's not below ground. So that's kind of a little extra peace of mind um, for a lot of buyers that they just don't have to deal with, you know, more of the water issues and kind of the typical basement um, issues that sometimes scares people off. So to the right here, uh, we've got the garage. Let's take a peek in here. No garage door opener here. So just something to be aware of there. Um, and the electrical panel is in here as well. So some nice storage here, which is a nice little plus. Insulated garage, which is awesome come wintertime and summertime, just kind of keeps it a little more neutral when it comes to the temperature. And then we've got a square D panel here. And it is 200 amps. So that's the garage. And then continuing here on this uh, lower level, we do have um, we have a bath on each level in this home, which is awesome. So we've got a powder room, half bath here. And then we move into the, the lower level living space here.
this home could definitely use some cosmetic updates, but um, you know, great location, uh, great outdoor space nearby, but definitely some paint, flooring, things like that uh, could go a long way in this home. So, and then we've got the washer and dryer on the lower level here. So just something to be aware of um, with that as well. This home does uh, have natural gas. So you've got gas uh, for the forced air heat um, as well as a natural gas hot water heater. And then we're gonna see the gas stove upstairs as well. So a lot of times people, people love seeing that when it comes to, to cooking and having that in their kitchen. Um, and then stepping out here to the yard, we've got uh, some nice old pavers out here. And a uh, good little space here, fully fenced, which is nice. And just very quiet here. We got, uh, you know, some woods that kind of climbs up a little hill here. Um, there are some homes back there, but it's a good, you know, it's a good 75 yards back. So uh, lots of privacy. That wraps up the lower level and we're going to make our way up so we've got carpeted stairs here we've got uh, got a nice spacious main level here kitchen and living space Uh, nine foot ceilings, just nice and spacious in here as well. So you've got the eat in kitchen. We've got stainless steel appliances, granite countertops. And then we've got the gas stove. do have a double door pantry here so some storage space here in the kitchen and then we've got a wooden deck here and then again you can just kind of see the see all the privacy that this end unit townhome has to offer Nice open flow here into the living room space. Now the half bath on this level is about two steps up. <laughs> so they, they kind of stepped it up, but uh, you do have a half bath here on the main level. and then making our way upstairs to the bedroom level. Uh, we've got three bedrooms up here, two full baths. Um, stepping straight ahead, we're gonna walk into uh, the primary bedroom here. Pretty spacious. We've got vaulted ceiling in here, just kind of helps give it uh, more of an open, uh, larger feel, so. Now the nice part is that we got two closets here in this primary. One's right behind me. We've got one, so we got a his and her closet in here, which is nice. And then one right here, another step in, walk-in closet there as well.
and then the primary ensuite. Stepping in here on the primer, we are facing the uh, the back of the home. So, and then we've got a standing shower as well as a, a tub here in the in the primary. Um, and then making our way to the other two bedrooms, we've got another full bath here in the hall. We got some built-in storage here. Um, and then the second full bath. And a soaking tub as well in here, so. And then at the front of the house, we've got bedrooms number two and three. Vaulted ceilings in these rooms as well. These rooms are about the same size. Now, one of the biggest kind of objections or, um, you know, the kind of things that come up with buyers here in some of these townhomes is just kind of the small feeling of these, um, you know, the second and third bedroom. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. They are a little tight, um, but that's just very common at this, at this price point and uh, for homes built in this uh, time frame. So... Um, that wraps up this home tour. If you ever have any questions or need anything at all, I'm always available at the information on your screen um, as well as the information in the description below. And we will see you at the next video tour.